Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Thursday, 4 4, April 4th. Got German factory orders in 40 minutes. It's out a little bit early. Uh, so, uh, just a heads up on that. First thing we're going to look at is this equity chart. Equities popped higher last night, uh, as we talked about. Um, good fade between 88 and 98. The first time up there, the high was uh, 89 and a quarter. We got short tiny. Uh, we had the 88, 91, 95, 99 sort of scatter plot out there. Um, but it was weird because there wasn't really any single piece of fundamental news to explain why we went from 89 to 70. So we still ended up, uh, you know, plus 1.3 on the day. But as my colleagues in America pointed out, VIX had bullish engulfing. Uh, SPY at the DeMarc 13 exhaustion um, and of course on the fundamental side uh, as I spoke about on Twitter 2900 for me is kind of 16 times earnings so we're kind of full value um, and we're full value after a 13 uh, percent up move so it looks it looks like an ideal place for a turn I'm not gonna go crazy on this um, we're just tactically short. We will be tactically short again today. Um, let's call the range 86, uh, 66 today, or 86, 60. So between sort of 81 and 86, we'll be adding to shorts and tactically playing this on the short side. Kiwi, we pinged the highs yesterday at 99, which was fun, but very boring still. Um, just not doing much so it's sort of 80 figure uh, looks like here overnight we went back to 99 we talked about the offers at 95 figure um, that my friends were all barking about on the ski slopes it looks like this is true um, I can say this now uh, even without talking to them third time up um, they won't be there. They'll have come to market now. These guys are professionals. They're not going to sit there, figure offered, not get paid twice. So um, don't lean on the figure anymore. We just want this thing to go straight down now today if possible. Uh, Aussie also it couldn't get through that 30 high that we talked about but isn't really giving us much love the obvious elephant in the room is the china deal this will be knee-jerk aussie higher although it seems this has been talked about enough now that this might be priced in and the risk is no china deal um at least going into this weekend some sort of delay or or problem on the bigger picture, 70.50 now is just beautiful. Um, so there will be there will be some action down there. Uh, there will be some of my own action down there as well. We're core short Aussie um, and core short Kiwi still. Been painful uh, and boring, but here we are. Let's look at Boone's. Got crushed yesterday turn that euro yen trade around we talked about patience we did sell 35s yesterday but we're square now again um, on boons just because on euro yen just because of boons so this does look like it's probably going to float up to the 65 70 area at some point today unless we get massive risk off there's really no trade in euro yen today so no point in getting too too excited Crude, we'll talk about it quickly. Cr printed kind of like a doji star. Uh, the fundamental side, 
inventories were were bearish. We're still above the 200 day. We still have plenty of clear air up here. I don't recommend selling crude uh, just to sell it. Um, but we are watching this. Dollar Cat has sort of mysteriously turned. We could not get through the figure. Now we're back up at 50. Um, keep in mind the CAD numbers on Friday were, were good and we came from 34 the figure so there'll be resistance up there but market short dollar CAD is the reason I point that out um, so watch crude here so if crude turns this will help in the in the stock side core short tactically short stocks um, and also will lead to some sort of short squeeze in dollar CAD but dollar CAD is not really tradable it's just in the middle of nowhere now um, we're not as focused on dollar cat as we are focused on short kiwi um, and short oz and tactically short stocks um, as we talked about yesterday we're very focused on data right now much less than much less so than than technicals um, because it is a data driven time here so today we I, like I said we've got German factory orders which is worth watching we have ECB policy meeting minutes um, usually this doesn't move the market and based on all of the ECB blabbering I can't see much of a you know lower much of a change from the lower for longer uh, BS but it's worth watching I guess 1 30 p.m. Uh, Swiss time uh, in the US we really have nothing we've got um, you know the Thursday unemployment claims CAD we have Ivy Oof, looks weak looks weak out there as far as releases uh, German factory orders I guess which is weak in itself should be watched so looks a bit bleak today um, there's no reason to expect tons of vol we'll be ready for vol nonetheless um, grab yourself a novel a good book I saw a lot of you uh, out there yesterday pulling your hair out about the lack of volatility just chill and don't lose your seat during this period the volatility will come back and with that little <clears throat> unsolicited advice I will uh, bid you a good day and a profitable day and I will uh, see you tomorrow non-farm payroll day tomorrow ciao